exciting things are happening today in the world of data processing. The ways in which large corporations are managed. The methods of technology. The character of scientific research. And our approaches to the complex problems of society are being significantly changed by a rapidly evolving science of information. The second decade of the computer era has seen an explosive growth in the use of machines to represent, store, manipulate, transmit, and display information. The intelligent and creative use of these new machines is a major challenge of the next decade. The development of visual displays, microfilm devices, and time-sharing systems promise deep changes in the technology of creative engineering by allowing man and machine to work together and people to communicate with one another more effectively. In business, government, and industry, these new devices are making better decisions possible based on more up-to-date information. Computers are increasingly being used more as tools of management and less as mere clerical labor-saving devices. In scientific research, the combination of analog to digital conversion devices with real-time computers and visual displays shortens the chain from observation to theory. Science, engineering, government, and business. Each of these very different applications involves operations performed on data. Data must be selected, collected, organized, and maintained before it can be processed. transmitted and displayed to yield pertinent and accurate information useful for making decisions and taking action. The information for a database is usually organized into many files. Each file is a collection of records each record is further broken down into fields. For instance, an accounts receivable record might contain fields showing customer number, name, and amount owed. Fields are made up of characters, numeric, 0 through 9, alphabetic, A through Z, and various special characters, such as dollar signs and decimal points. To save space, these special characters are often omitted from the data. Alphabetic fields are usually left justified. Numeric fields are usually right justified and padded on the left with zeros. Each record must be uniquely identified in a file. This is usually done by using one field as the key or control field. This key distinguishes each record from all others and is used in almost all operations with files. In this example, we have a master file. Master files contain semi-permanent information, some of which must be updated or modified from time to time. A transaction file contains information used to update a master file, such as amount of purchase, which must be added to the amount owed.
The records of a file can be stored in a variety of forms. One example would be punched cards. It's often necessary to sort files into a new sequence. This is easily done once the records are in a machine-readable form. Files are often copied on another medium such as magnetic tape, which allows for faster processing. Here, cards are read one by one and written in sequence on tape. Files in the same sequence are often merged to form a new composite file. We'll look at these and other file operations in more detail later. <laughs>